Hi, I'm Angela Lerng, an endocrinologist at the UCLA Health Endocrine Center. Today, let's talk about the meaning of the thyroid blood test called TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, which is a hormone or chemical made by your pituitary gland in the brain. The TSH plays a very important role in your body because it helps to control the activity of your thyroid gland. So now let's talk about the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped structure that sits in the front part of your neck. Its job is to make hormones that help to regulate your metabolism or the rate at which your body changes food into energy. The thyroid gland uses iodine from the foods that you eat to make thyroid hormones. In the United States, we usually get enough iodine from our diet, which allows our thyroid gland to make normal amounts of thyroid hormone. It's important to also know that if you were to get too much iodine, for example, from taking iodine pills or supplements, this can actually turn off your thyroid's ability to make thyroid hormone or rev it up to make way too much. So unless your doctor tells you that you need to take iodine supplements, the iodine you get from food should be enough. So let's go back to TSH. It is a hormone that tells your thyroid gland how much thyroid hormone to make. It's kind of like the gas pedal for a car. When your body needs more thyroid hormone, your pituitary gland releases more TSH, which tells the car to go faster. When your body has too much thyroid hormone, your pituitary gland releases less TSH, and the gas pedal to the car eases up and tells your thyroid gland to make less thyroid hormone. In this way, the TSH from our pituitary gland helps to keep your body's metabolism at the right level. The level of the TSH will therefore tell us if your body is trying to make more or less thyroid hormone. When your TSH is high, your body is not making enough thyroid hormone, which is called hypothyroidism. When your TSH is low, your body is making too much thyroid hormone, which is called hyperthyroidism. For more information, or if you would like to see a doctor specializing in thyroid problems, please visit our website or call our offices. Thank you for your time.